Courtney King here with Phil Pritchard. Phil, you have a tough job working for the NHL. You get to follow the Stanley Cup around. You've been doing it for 23 years. Yeah, it's uh, you know what? It's a lot of fun, but I'd rather, I'd much rather be the person that carries over their head, but that didn't work. So hanging out in Rockford and Chicago and all around Illinois this summer, it's, it's been great. The fans have loved it. And it's really been part of it. Talk a little bit about this summer. The Cubs been all over the place. Talk about you know, the journey of the Cup and what you guys have to do. Well, you know what? It. I mean, uh, you think back to June 10th when it all started, and then two days later, two million people show up for the parade. You, you know you're in a good sports town then, and it just grew from there. And we think we've been to every place in and around Chicago, and all of a sudden there's a new place we haven't been to, a restaurant, a, a point of interest place. Uh, I think it's our first time out in Rockford here this this summer as well. I mean, and the crowds have been great. I mean, people talk about Chicago being a sports town, and I'll guarantee 100 percent it's, it's a sports town as good as it gets. What do you have to do to keep the, cu the cup clean? You know, I'm sure people want to touch it and do all this stuff with it, and there's rules. You know, what you can do, what you can't do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, everyone wants to touch it. It's, it's 118 years old. And if it could talk, it would have probably be the best stuff seller. But when everyone touches, their fingerprints get on it, and it is pure silver. So we have to, we have to kind of handle it with care. But every day it gets it gets clean. We get the fingerprints off. Uh, it's ready to go. Like when we showed up here in Rockford, I mean, it was it was sparkling with the other trophies that are here, the people in line, and loved that fact. And after today, we'll clean it up again. It's uh, for moms and dads out there. I'm pretty good at cleaning silver. So. Where do you draw the line when people are like? You know, I want to do this and that with the cup, and you're like, no, you can't do that with the cup. Well, you know what? I mean, that for the guys that win it, uh, their first thing they have is respect. They've mm -hmm. worked a lifetime towards winning this thing, so when they take it out, they have so much respect for it. Their goal is to get their name on it, part of hockey history. From the fans' point of view, they all want to be part of it as well, and there's no problem with hugging it and kissing it or that, but there's one rule that's out there is you don't pick it up unless you want it. Lastly, talk a little bit about how the Stanley Cup is different than winning, you know, the, you know, the Super Bowl or the World Series because there's only one Stanley Cup and the other leagues, you know, have trophies for every year. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I mean, it, it's, it's part of hockey, which is the greatest sport in the world to begin with, so there's the best part about it. But it is, uh, once the guys win it, their name goes on it, and the trophy is 118 years old now, so obviously there's 118 years of winners on there and it gets passed from team to team from generation to generation and the other sports they make a new trophy every year the team that wins it gets to keep it which is a great tradition as well but it's it's not the Stanley Cup I mean the Stanley Cup it, as we talked about earlier if it could talk the stories it would tell the stories it could bring to the hockey fans and as we said the superstitions about not picking it up and you gotta only pick it up if you want it it makes the Stanley Cup what it is. And it's not just another trophy, it's the Stanley Cup. And that kind of separates it. All right, well, thank you, Phil. Thanks for Hope having you me. enjoyed the history lesson about the Stanley Cup. Okay.